So there was this photo in the news or in a magazine, I forget, it's been a number of years, but there was a wildfire that swept through this farm and there was um, a mother hen and she had burned to death, but when they found her under her wings were all these chicks that, whose lives were saved because of her. And it reminded me of this beautiful passage that talks about when Jesus was um, saying how I've longed to gather you like a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you were unwilling. And so why are we resistant? Why are we unwilling to go to the safety under the wings of the Lord? Why are we resistant to that? And, you know, I can just speak from my own um, life experience and say that there is a hiding place. There is a, a safe place, a tender place. A secret place under his feathers under his wings where he is like a mother hen that protects us and you know I was thinking some reasons that we're resistant to the Lord maybe we don't trust him it's usually either not seeing him correctly or not seeing ourselves correctly and none of us are gonna see him or ourselves 100% correctly all the time but I think unfortunately a lot of people don't trust God because of perhaps the people that have represented God. Maybe they've seen um, people that claim to know God or are Christians or whatever who are just total jerks and that's really unfortunate. Um, maybe you're someone who's been disappointed by God and so he doesn't seem safe or trustworthy to you and you know there is a mystery in our walk with the Lord where he does allow certain things to happen um, and so we don't trust him. Um, he allowed, uh, you know, the death of a loved one or something traumatic to happen. And so um, our tendency, if we don't allow him to heal um, those things, that we resist drawing near to him because he's not safe to us. Um, the ironic thing with that is that the God who often allows difficult things is the God who also heals them. Um, so we have to be able to negotiate that with God and press into those hard places, those grieving places, um, so he can heal us. And so um, not seeing God correctly. And then also not, not seeing ourselves correctly. And for a lot of us, um, we avoid God um, because, he thinks he's, we're, because we think he's going to reject us. Um, maybe we um, feel shame because of some things in our past. Um, we're just unlovable. Uh, maybe we've been treated poorly by people who rejected us and so we think there's something uh, inherently wrong with me that he will reject us. So um, I just want to encourage you today to go to the hiding place, go into the shelter of his wings. And it doesn't mean your life is going to be perfect, but there is a hiding place. There is a, um, a safe place uh, for your heart and for your life where he is with you where he heals your hurts, where he replaces your mourning for joy, where he brings beauty from ashes for all the things that have happened in, in your life. And he is safe and you can trust him. And um, yeah, there's times that he does seem wild um, and even dangerous according to how my own logic, but truly the safest place to be um, is in the shadow of his wings. And you know, lastly, I'm just reminded that you know that mother hen gave her life for her chicks and that's exactly what the Lord did for us it says greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friends and that's exactly what Jesus did for us when he died on the cross he gave us his life so that we could live all right y'all hope you have a good day